Good, good design should be accessible to all. A good example of where Paul and Lawrence have used their skills on a smaller scale is a project they completed three years ago. How are you doing? Yvette and Mark Sanders asked for their ordinary two-up, two-down mid-terrace property to be completely remodelled into a high-impact home. The brief really was to completely start again and just create a really sort of nice living space. Obviously taking into account the sort of amazing views they've got from every level really. So right from the start we were on the same wavelength. Paul was one of six architects we interviewed and almost immediately we knew Paul was the man. Uh, he, he walked in with a John Porson book which is kind of like super minimalist stuff and I thought, yes! <laughs> To transform what was a run-of-the-mill mid-terrace into this unique and minimalist home, every interior wall and floor was removed and the living space was completely redesigned. One of the nice things about this property is that it's kind of from the outside, it kind of looks completely standard and there's, there's something kind of really exciting and nice about just coming to the front door and there's a kind of hint that there's something going on but it's not until you get inside that the place opens up and it's become something that we think quite special. Originally, the property had two bedrooms. As it was just Yvette and Mark living in the house, it gave Paul and Lawrence scope to be creative. Above us, we've got this, this nice sort of almost like double height space that leads up to the master bedroom, which is gallery to this space as well. Obviously, architecture really creates quite a lot of interest in terms of daylight, sound, big volume of space as well. The total cost of the build was £130,000 and it took eight months to complete. The thing that's nice with this project is that it is a smaller scale and architecture can apply from small scale right to big scale. So it's not just for multi-million pound houses or the rich and famous. You know, architecture can be applied across the board and I think that, you know, hopefully this is what this kind of shows.